Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land. Please slay this by. There's been some good, some bad, but we're doing okay as a new character, I think. We're going to continue doing that. We're probably going to get the unlock this episode, and I used the bathroom before we started, so... Should be good to go, baby. Um... I'll upgrade Eruption, but... I'm not convinced that this leads us, you know, to the same kind of style of start that we had last time. Last time, I really feel like the run basically was just, hey, draw a lesson learned, use it, and you pretty much just win. Um, so I felt like it was pretty easy. I think exiting our stance will be very helpful for us. Um, this one might not be as easy. I hope that it's, you know, doable. I really like Talk to the Hand as well, to be honest. But I, I hope that it's doable, but we'll see. You know, things things could change. Let's get a Relic. Yo, a strength-based Duvu doll deck with this character? Well, I never, you know? Might as well get maximized block here. So we start with one curse up. I think you're just, like, super dead next turn, my man. Should have played the defense to get them out of our hand. Very true. Take a cut through fate. I do like uh, protect, but it is what it is. And do I really want two curses? No, not really. <laughs> However, yeah, let's definitely upgrade talk to the hand. Um, like pain is a curse I'd like to remove, but we don't have any money to do so. So let's, you know, actually do add a follow up to the deck because we. I think right now this deck kind of relies on dealing as much damage as possible. Um, and let's up that as well. But is going to be a little spicy here. For sure, we rely on killing enemies as fast as possible, so we draw um, regret. Well, so we draw uh, pain as little as possible, is what I was going to say. But I think this is going to be pretty unfortunate here. Where did this come from? Hold on. For some reason, I thought Vigilance drew cards, but no, it just gives you a lot of block. I, I, I've still got, like, very bad muscle memory when it comes to getting these these cards sorted in the old dome piece. We can live with these curses in our deck if we can find a way to regen HP um, now and then. I think. So we really want to be able to enter the Judgment Stance. Notice that we also got the Purge of Debuff here, which is pretty sweet. Um, but we are going to take a bunch of damage here. Um, I think it's... We should have killed you instead. I think it's the right thing to do. In order to get through the fight as quickly as possible, but I could be wrong. I definitely like Empty Fist as well. Being able to leave the ra the Wrath Stance easily is super important. Well, it's not a bad first turn. We're always going to lose HP every time Regret sticks around, but it is what it is, you know? I don't really want to enter a bad state right now, because you guys are both lethal in one hit anyway, but obviously we lost a little bit by playing Regret to begin with. Or by having Regret, or having Pain, I should say. Sorry. Um, I don't think we need it. Halt just got buffed, it looks like. It, instead of uh, giving you 6 block in Wrath, it gives you 7. Do we want to... If, if we're going to wake this guy up, you know, you'd rather be in, like, the Wrath state first, but... think we can afford this. Let's go there. Get rid of Regret. Do we want to draw Empty Fist? Yeah. It's just a better attack for us. We might as well maximize damage on this turn. We're probably going to take one bad hit. Should be able to lethal you next turn without taking double damage. Definitely have to rest, though. I think we're okay. This is probably the best damage dealing run we've ever had. So I am gonna, I'm gonna take doubt. 
And then I'm going to come here and we're going to remove um, Pain, which is by far the worst curse. So we do lose one strength for that. I'm hoping to get like some artifact abilities. But for now, let's get Meal Ticket just so we have a free heal. Um, because we are in kind of a weird spot, you know? We, we're going to be losing HP as a result of our curses, probably. So let's start with uh, Vigilance. Was it worth it? Like, yeah? I mean, why not? You know? Um, so I think we definitely want Eruption out there. Just so that next turn we can split you if we want to. It would be nice to have Scry, actually, now that I think about it. We could Scry all of our curses out of the deck, which would be super sweet. Um, so we definitely want to send you. I can live with it, and I'll take the two damage to hold Miracle. Miracle's upgraded thanks to the Tongs, which I didn't even notice. Um, it's going to be with nine damage, Scry two. I think cut both of them. Empty body. Exit your stance. So we could do... Another 18 damage. I'd prefer not to split you at 20. So I think we'll play this. 7 block or 5 block. Pretty easy choice. 8 damage to take you to 19. We'll hit you. Could have defended again as well, but I, I kind of like this, I think. And we definitely want you to die. We got energy and draw. We get another strike out of it. Ah, uh, maybe shouldn't have played that, but that's okay. Might as well play that. All right, so we super got to ice one of you this turn. Preferably you. <laughs> okay, it's, it's not bad. We're okay. And this is by far the fastest... You weren't dead because we were weak. My mistake. Anyway. Um, it's by far the fastest first floor I think we've had as this character. But I don't feel that confident yet. Dude, I hate to say it, but lesson learned is just so freaking good. Vault is great too, but like, lesson learned is not only great. It's great and it's fun. I actually think we might want to go Velvet Choker. We don't have zero cost cards. I think we're rarely going to play more than six cards per turn. Has there ever been a situation in which I wanted... Or, like, I, I was happy that we had Velvet Choker? No, I don't believe so, no. But, counterpoint, there's a first time for everything. This sucks, but, you know, what can we do about not drawing a block on turn one? Not much. So we want to use Lesson Learned as much as possible. I'm like, okay, if you enter Eruption, 17 damage. Then you could enter Calm. You could go Dunk. Soup. Dunk. Was it worth it? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Due to the power of good luck, I think it was. Got to be careful about what we add. Better blocks definitely, I think, fit the bill. And I actually think I'm going to be a bit of a coward. Being able to scry actually means, to me, I, th I think we need this. Does it become innate? It does. I think this is hugely valuable for us. Um, even though it doesn't allow us to remove a curse. We like it because it allows us to scry our curses away. Which I think is better, because then we get the, the strength benefit from having a curse, but we never, hopefully never, unless we draw them on turn one, have to actually see them. I think that that's the, the dream scenario. We're drawing, right? Go ahead and give me this, then. I think you do Eruption... Follow up. We can't afford to do eruption follow. We can do eruption, boom, follow up empty body. Okay, so it would be eruption. But then we can't do follow up because we'll be playing a skill in advance of it. Yeah. I mean, we can do follow up. 
the question is, do we want to? <laughs> yeah, I think I, I screwed that one up a bit. Okay, so we're scrying curses out of our deck. We, we should actually keep both of those up. It's just free block. Which I've mistakenly called free draw probably like a hundred times. So we're at 13 block, free energy. I am going to hit you just in the hopes of getting, you know, getting you as low as possible. Get all these out of here, I think. It's got to be like eruption follow-up. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. I'm starting to feel like I'm getting it. I, I actually really like a bowling bash. I would like protect as well. Um, but I think we can wait on protect. I will always fight these guys because bowling bash, if we just draw it, I mean, forehead. But it's so good. I don't mind the debuff. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Um, love it. Love it. Dude, okay. So we're definitely going to get out in front of these guys. I think this is a good indication that this deck is pretty solid. It's just like, can we get to lesson learned? Yes. Um, I think it's a good indication that this deck is pretty solid. I'm hesitant to add more stuff to it, basically for that reason. Let's heal quickly, and then again, this gives us more ability to smith, and a smithed lesson learned is, is probably the most valuable, although I would like to have early scry as well. Um... And now that we have early scry, I'm like, I don't think we need, um... What the heck is that? At the start of your second turn, gain 12 block. I don't think we need to remove curses, but if the curses... What curses do we have? I, I still don't like regret, so I'll remove that, but I think that... Um... I think that it was unnecessary... Whoops. Possibly. And we're better off, probably, just keeping it in the deck for strength. Uh, whenever you would lose HP, lose one less. Okay, so this used to be gain one block on turn one, two block on turn two, up until turn six. But this reduce one damage per HP actually makes me feel like we probably could have kept Regret in there. But I, I feel like... We're kind of in a good spot right now. I don't want to mess with it too much. I'd really like uh, the ability to have Artifact. That's it. I don't know. I don't want to... We moved through the second floor a little too quickly. And it's got me slightly afraid. I think we like Bowling Bash to enable follow-up. Three energy left. Let's try a Cut Through Fate. I'd like to see talk to the hand. And then... This already costs zero. Yeah, yeah, I think we're okay. Get that out of here. Oh, but keep those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so it would be like... Erupt. Strike. Empty body. And we're set. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think I'm starting to finally piece together like... Oops. I want to drop Bowling Bash. I think I'm finally starting to piece together um, what I like and what I don't like about this character. If we're not going to kill you, we might as well store Miracle because we, we know we're going to lethal you next turn. We might as well wait for Lesson Learned. Works for me. Um, I'm starting to figure it out, in my opinion. I like having Talk to the Hand. I do like having a Crush Joints, which is... I'm gonna level that up right out of the gate here. And this feels more like you can tell I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with the character. You know? Um, I think at least. So it's a great turn for Bowling Bash. We didn't get it. That's fine. Um, in fact, we got a lot of garbage on turn one. 16. You're doing 19 damage, which is actually just one... Well, it's two damage thanks to Tungsten Rod, but we might as well take zero. This is a perfect fight for us to have Bowling Bash and then, like, Gremlin Horn to combo into one another. 
So we cut through fate is a really good card to get where we want to go. So I think we'll start talk to the hand. Cut through fate. I really want to get to that bowling bash. It didn't work, but that's okay. So I think you go. It's like Vigilance, Miracle, Empty Body, 21 block. We don't get Eruption out of it, but we take three damage? Two damage, thanks to Tungsten Rod. We want both of those cards for certain. Um, so Lesson Learned is already working, but we should use Bowling Bash first. We get energy back and draw. If only we could Vigilance Empty Body, but instead we'll just Empty Body. So we take one, and then nine. I mean, it's really good on turns where um, we take a bunch of damage. A bunch of little damage from, like, you know, multiple sources. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Play a Defend, then Crush Joints, and you're good. So against the birds, Tungsten Rod would be amazing. Unfortunately, we're not fighting the birds. 24, and then this would do 30. Got him. Yeah. Feeling pretty solid with this 21-card deck. I will rest. We don't really need to level anything up because, you know, Lesson Learned mostly does that for us. Now, Bowling Bash, not that good turn one, but that's okay. What we really want on this guy is a talk to the hand. Yeah, by the way, maybe play some blocks at some point as well, considering that he hits you turn one. I don't know why I, I make that mistake very frequently. I was gonna say, we really want to be able to exit our stance. So let's let's keep those coming. So what do we want? We probably want a miracle crush joints. Um, and then we want to play empty fist last. He's already half dead, which is pretty sweet. He's going to take a turn off. We want to go back into the eruption uh, or the wrath state if possible and, and body him. And thankfully, that mostly appears to be possible. We definitely want to draw follow-up. Now, do we want to leave the wrath state? I'm going to say yes, just so we feel a little safer. So he's doing 36 damage. Bowling Bash is just, it's probably like our third best attack right now, so I don't mind keeping it around, but. Not that bad. We take seven, which is less thanks to Tungsten Rod, but I'm too lazy to do the math right now. Um, so I think you go Defend, Crush Joints. We would definitely love to play Eruption if we think that we can get to, like, Lethality. But he's gonna do that. That would take us super close to lethal. I'm not comfortable doing that. I think we, we already got him in the vice grip. I, I prefer this because you get follow up, cut through fate. What do we want to draw? Let's draw vigilance. Just be careful how many cards you're playing. I don't know if that was even worth it, but you can see, like, we're in a pretty good spot here. Um, we, we're so close. We just need one more attack. And we got it. Oh, but we're weak. We're weak and we're dead. What are the freaking odds of this one? Wow, that's painful. Did we get the unlock? We did not. Okay, we're going to try another one. I feel bad about that one. Just one more attack early would have would have gotten us there. Give me two random colorless cards. Okay, so we got debuff and dark shackles. Sorry. Maybe maybe you could make the argument I played a little too quickly on that previous run, but I I don't know. I didn't see us in my opinion making huge mistakes, but I could be wrong. I do like Sands of Time a lot, especially if we're going to fight Elites. Basically just want blocks. Wish could have been interesting, but... Don't think it's necessary. 
So hear me out here. We take zero damage and we got you guys in a very lethal state next turn. Hopefully. Maybe one turn after that. You know, let's not get greedy. Clear to me, we... Well, we actually had lethal that turn, but... Um, could use some more damage. And the best damage, I think, is crush joints, vulnerability. Best damage, in my opinion. We'll become cursed. And I think it's a, it's a very acceptable move here. And then you remove it from the deck immediately. Could go for a retain synergy, but... This is pretty bad for a, a long while. Plus, we can't afford it. So that's, a, that's another pretty critical element. Upgraded, it might be better. Might as well use Miracle to enter Calm and store energy for this turn. If we could actually exit this state. Thank God this guy's not attacking. We still can't exit Calm. He is dead. That'll work. I still really like a Bowling Bash early, and this is not the guy you want to fight with Bowling Bash, but to get Crush Joints working, sure. Could have played Vigilance as well, but really, we, we kind of just want to race this guy, I think, so. I don't know if we're going to be able to race him now because we didn't draw Judgment on the proper turn. I think we still have to go for it. He's doing 14 damage. I would describe that as Big Whoop. So he's dead, I think. We're building kind of like a glass cannon build here. So I love Scry your draw pile. Um, I think we can make it work. It's not really what I would choose for myself right now. Shops are pretty rare here. I think we'll just take the 100 gold. Don't be a shop. Thank you. And in hindsight, I think I would have preferred if it were a shop, but uh, basically, scry your draw pile is not useful for me as much to get weaves and etc. etc. But really, just to stay in front of uh, of what's coming down the pipeline. But we can now build maybe a little bit more into a into a scry setup. But I'll tell you, we're getting our butt kicked damage wise. Sands of time is is kind of. Our trump card right now. I think we do like artifact. We we have a few too many powers right now that or cards I should say that sort of do nothing, but transform a basic strike. I think we need the defense for now. Gain mantra. Okay, we're fighting Guardian. We definitely want blocks for Guardian. Honestly, I, I sort of feel like we should just let this run get yeeted. I say that not to be bitter, but just because, like, Guardian, he presents us with uh, a challenge we don't have the means to match right now. Like, how are we going to play enough defense to stay in front of this guy? That's, that's where I'm at right now. That's what's got me twisted up. You know, why not? Puts these guys in a killable position, I think. Probably. Definitely. We could just go... Sure. We could just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Guardian. I think we kind of got to... Like, fasting doesn't do anything for us, but... Uh, we're not applying too many debuffs. Scry your draw pile over and over. Give him two vulnerability, maybe? But I, I'm, I'm suspicious of the way that this run's going. I feel way less confident about this one than the last one. We could also go for some weirdo mantra plays. But we don't really want to do double damage, this, or triple damage on this turn. So I think we'll crush your joints. Play this. Play that. We want to do triple damage when we're also in Wrath. I know this is weird, but it's like, I think we want to scry 
like basically every time. Every time it's available, um, just to make sure we got the right cards at the right time whenever possible. You know I like a crush joints, but I think we gotta go Sanctity first to get the combo piece. And again, we don't really want triple damage this turn. As ridiculous as it sounds, we'll end up hidden into him. We'd love to draw it this turn. We definitely do not want this guy dealing 40 damage. But. You knew there was going to be a but. The but is... Maybe by doing this, we can now just dust him. Certainly not dead. But... You know what? I like that. Because it exited the monster or it exited the wrath state, which also halved the damage that we took. So that was that definitely seemed like a like a good option to me. Now we'd like to re-enter it. If possible. Mostly, I think like my strat for now, just live and hold sands of time. And you should be killed. Easily. Alright, I have no confidence in this deck right now. But we made it through the first boss. Reach heaven through violence. You know, our, our scry does help us get Omega out there as fast as possible. But unless we get an energy relic, I, I just don't see it happening right now. I hate to say it. Um... I, you know, we don't need to see enemy intents. We know what the characters do. We played 700 hours of this game. That's that's a that's a buff because it forces me to think harder. That's how I'm going to choose to think about it at least. So the first turn you do 10 damage. We definitely do want that to come up. First turn you do 10 damage. Big whoop. Second turn you try to debuff us. So we're safe going into this state, and we'll just hit the crap out of you. But, yeah, see, he's not going to do anything because I played fasting. Next turn. Body. Not a contest. Got to be very cautious about what we add. Shuriken. Very interesting. Choose a card to add to the deck. What's the win condition right now? Um, beautiful question. Absolutely beautiful question. I think I'm going to take another zero cost attack. Ah, dude, let's go Devotion. By playing Devotion, we will um, be able to get triple damage more frequently. So, first, I want the draw. It's defend. Turn one, I think you do 14 damage. Let's see if I'm right. Less. You do 12. All right. Um, definitely want to draw that. <laughs> Let's play a defend. Crush joints. Um, we'll defend again, because we have through violence next turn anyway. So you might hurt me a little. Nope, exact, exactly where we want to be. 30. Plus 18. Not quite. But, I mean, what else are you going to play? I think you start there. One damage. Big freaking whoop. Okay, so far this is working. But it's, it's working scary. We already have one of these. I think we like scry plus draw. Mostly because it helps us hit the shuriken limit a little faster. We really need to do something uh, about block. So I think cards that upgrade block are going to be very valuable. The most valuable thing right now for us. And relics that help as well. Whenever you add a card to your deck, gain gold. Okay. How about also anchor? Um, we don't have... We have one exhaust? We have two exhausts because this isn't upgraded yet. I think we'd rather just remove like a basic strike. I'm happy with where we're at, 
We had so much gold. You can take another basic strike. <laughs> Not going to be too happy about it, but that's where we're going to go here. Okay. Um, we will upgrade, I think, Omniscience so we can get to the cards we want faster. All the upgraded through violence actually is probably a better better win condition enabler. I really did not want you to be um, an enemy. Turn one, you usually hit though. Definitely keep that up. Um, I think we're just going to keep it like that. I know we could have used Omniscience. Oh, you did use the debuff turn one. My bad. You gotta love it. So you don't do that much damage turn one. Probably like 15. Don't say I didn't warn you. Um, through violence, 25 damage, which is actually 50 damage. So nine plus 50, but we can't, oh, hold on. Draw better. Got him. Lucky, but we got him. Yeah, okay. Protect is also good, but this is almost as good for a little bit less energy. So Bowling Bash is huge here. We start with 10 block. I think we definitely pop this. And just try to ice one of you. 14 damage. So it's 42 damage total. We should definitely get you. Twenty nine. Fifteen. Fourteen. We we made it. Okay. So you, you super like crush joints. No extra damage is very unfortunate though. Well, actually we have one, that's right. Um, third eye is pretty important. It seems to me like we're just gonna go for lethality. Yeah, we knew we were gonna get hit for a little there. This is weirdly working. I don't think Tungsten Rod is very good, but I, I could just be wrong. Um, admittedly, Weave is an attack that costs zero, so it synergizes pretty nicely. Oh yeah, dude, give me the dex. <laughs> I think I'm okay with this. It synergizes nicely with Shuriken. Oh my god, and Kunai. And then on top of all that, we also do have like a weird scry synergy that now we'll actually be able to take advantage of a little bit more frequently. So, turn one, we want to beat the crap out of this guy. It's not going to be as possible as I would like. We're going to draw it this turn, so I think we'd rather just not. Rather try to draw something else. Super want to trigger all of the, uh, you, we want to hit kunai every turn, we want to hit shuriken every turn, wherever possible. Can we exit a stance? No. So I think, in my heart of hearts, we drew garbage. I don't really want to take double damage to kill you. I think it's more likely to lead to despair. So I think we do this. It minimizes the time required for us to draw, or to get to triple damage. So what do we like here? I mean, crush joints for vulnerability. Then you're dead to the debuff, that's right. Okay, hit weave. Play omniscience, and we know we're not gonna draw any of these on this turn. We're, we're going slower than I would like, for sure. And we don't know, like any turn could be lethality at this point, but we do have triple damage here. So, I mean, triple damage to me says, like hit this guy, but if it can't be done, it can't be done. We have so much energy as well, so be cool here. That's what you like to see. Let's cut through fate. Let's get an eruption. No, let's get a vigilance. And then get Corruption next turn, or get Wrath next turn. So we definitely want to hit you. We definitely want to hit you again. 12 block and 5 scry. What happened to my Corruption? I must have clicked on discard by accident. That was a really, really good turn. The debuffs are not going to factor in. 
and we're actually gonna make it further on our cursed run than we will on the previous runs, which is very surprising to me. Not quite triple damage. <laughs> That's okay though. All right, I mean, dude, it's working. It's weird, but it's working. I'm always hungry for more energy. Dude, I hate all of these. Um, I think we could maybe make Ragnarok work. Plus, I haven't tried it. They're all energy relics. Because of Kunai Shuriken, I don't think we should take this. I think we have to rest. So let's take Philosopher's Stone, but it does mess with my muscle memory when it comes to the amount of damage enemies are doing. So there's there's a real risk there. Third Eye. Gain 10 block, Scry 5. Might as well Scry 1 first. Or Scry 5 first, I mean. Definitely want Bowling Bash next turn. At least we got a little built-in block. They're not going to do more than 30 damage turn one. So Bowling Bash, 7 damage for every enemy in combat. It's only 21 damage. I think we'll play everything. I think it's becoming clear to me we need more draw. Uh, what have I done? Did it work? I can't tell. Don't hit me. <laughs> I think I think I need more draw to make this deck actually work. I don't think I'm there yet. Get rid of that. It's garbage. That's really good. It's pretty much exactly what we needed. Um, but we also need to be able to kill you next turn. So we're going to make sure we just draw a crap load of easy damage. Might as well get rid of Weave early. That way we can do that. And, yeah, you know what? Like, why why not? And hopefully we'll be able to exit Stance, but now I'm realizing I shouldn't have done this because I wanted to be in this Stance to get Lethality and... Well, but we have Divinity instead. Okay. Highest HP. Dead. Dead. Took a lot of damage, though. Yeah, I'll do it. I think we can make it work on 63 HP. Turn one, you don't do anything. The only question is, what do we actually need? I think... Like, next turn? I want to draw... Basically, my powers. Defense plus powers. This guy shouldn't be that hard, though. So, two mantra. I should have kept worship up. We know he's doing damage. Get rid of that so our future scries are a little bit... Oh, we haven't shuffled yet. That's fair. We want that up. So hit me for zero, and then Worship will take us to triple damage. Then again, it's like we don't really have that much damage coming out. Um, so I think we want Sands of Time in hand, but we'll just play Vigil. Oh, I always think that gives me draw. I don't know, man. I'm getting all twisted up and confused, okay? We want Sands of Time in hand for certain. That much, I think, is like is doubtless. This would give us energy, but... It's kind of what we were looking for there. Like a pretty lucky turn to draw exactly what we needed. Scry 5. I think we'd like Eruption next turn. You are going to hit me. Um, I've, I've come to terms with this. We should, we'd, it'd be really nice to get a talk to the hand in this deck. Excuse me, where is my... Uh, 
Where's my wrath form? Did I scry it again accidentally? It wouldn't surprise me. I know myself. Oh, he's a fool. Ah, uh, never mind. He's not that much of a fool because I did do 66 damage. All right. <laughs> he's a genius. We made it. Our rare relic is Duvu Doll. So much gold, dude. No longer becoming frail strikes me as being extremely good. Especially when we don't know what we're doing against a lot of these enemies, just to be honest. Um, we, I think we're taking like a little damage turn one. What do we want turn two? I think just being able to enter calm will be fine. So we're going to do it like this. Um, next turn, we might be able to swing. No, we won't. I thought maybe we'd be able to swing Divinity. What I didn't plan on was not being able to get a single defend at all. It won't do it. It still won't do it. And it's very frustrating. Because we're taking a bunch of damage. And it feels like there's no reason for it. But Divinity did us a great service there. I think the more block, the merrier at this point. I told you, we had the rest. This is a great turn to get fasting out there as soon as possible. Um, we have no draw, though. We can erupt, though. So let's start here. And the whole reason you do that is for that. And you get omniscience going. And I think, like, for me, I want to see fasting as soon as possible. So let's just start with fasting unchecked. And then give me fasting... Sanctity, third eye, crush joints. Keep the fourth card mysterious. Okay, so we really want fasting because I think this is his bad turn. The turn where he debuffs us, I should say. Like this, this, this. Like them both. Ah, we shouldn't have drawn. I, this deck, honestly, is getting a little bit complicated for my standards. In case you didn't notice. <laughs> I think this is his debuff turn yet again, but um, it's okay. Next turn, we're going to have triple damage. So we don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need this. We, we do want Ragnarok, though. Because we have Divinity. So I think you start Crush Joints, then Ragnarok. Yeah, 31 damage five times. I'm starting to see how this could be good. Previously, I've looked down upon it. Feeling stoked on the HP front, at least. Don't even start me on that. We don't need another weave to toss into the fray here. I don't know. I'm torn about this run. On the one hand, let's just hope that works. <laughs> On the one hand, it seems like it's going okay. Like the results sort of speak for themselves, right? On the other hand, I'm like, I in my heart of hearts, it seems to me like, this is horrendous. Like, I, I still, as of right now, don't really understand how it's working out what seems to be as well as it is. Maybe, I, maybe I'm just lucky. Um, you know what? Let's keep that up there. I'm like, how am I going to kill these guys? I, I can't attack them. Stop hitting me. It's very rude. Okay, we got Divinity. Dust them. Um, please, God, give me some defense. So I think I like everything as is. This is going to hurt 
like a son of a gun. You're alive? This is the money maker right here. This elite. This is what it all comes down to. Sadistic nature. We don't really know what this guy does either. If that makes sense. Turn to turn, I think he has a high degree of variability. So we definitely want fasting. I think we, we want everything related to divinity as well. Where the heck is worship? There it is. Let's keep that up. So I think we'll go fasting, devotion, worship. I will shuffle in the reach heaven. Go ahead. Do your worst. Wasn't that bad. We're looking for like a doubled Ragnarok in the future. Start here. We love crush joints. We love through violence. I think we love omniscience. Let's get crush joints going first. Just so you're vulnerable. And then in the future we can cause real problems. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to be divine next turn? We're going to be close. We want to double up on Ragnarok at some point. Well, probably on our divine turn, which is what we're not divine right now, but we can double up on sands of time instead. So give me some vigilance first. We'll do a little weave, a little through violence because it doesn't retain, a little omniscience. Next turn, no, 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 yes. Okay, this is this is the money maker right here. We have a divine turn. I think you definitely, I think you would start with the crush joints. Then, duplicate Sands of Time. Could have done it later, to be fair. But we got him, ladies and gentlemen. Preserved Insect, don't talk to me. It's completely worthless. <laughs> this is also a very tough enemy. Yeah, we like it. You never know what this enemy's gonna do. That's the problem. But we do know. If it, in a way, it's almost it's freeing. Because if you don't know, if we don't know what you're gonna do, what does it matter? You know, we might as well just uh, live our life. Maybe one thing that we could do is just try to live. So let's throw this at you, um, and then just wait for a turn in which we're divine. And uh, hopefully wreck you. Like we could become divine next turn. Eighteen block. No, in two turns. I know. Why not play it? Well, because I I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> Is that not good enough for you? This turn we're kind of screwed though, because we don't have like. We don't have enough. Uh, defense to stay alive and no means to draw. I think the only way we can maybe make this happen is by starting in wrath form and then just hitting them real hard. Please curse me. That's all I all I ask is that you curse me instead of kill me. He's going to kill me. Yeah, but hey, strike drummy. Strike dummy. Cards containing strike deal three additional damage. Teardrop lock it. Start each combat in calm. Seems so good. Cloak clasp. At the end of your turn, gain two block for each card in hand. We've done it. We've unlocked everything. We can start playing Ascension because I've clearly mastered the character. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.